If you have ever worked with the distant light in Houdini viewport, you may have noticed that it doesn't cast shadows. But it's actually really, sometimes it's actually really hand, handy to have this shadow in the viewport. So let me show you a little hack how you can get something that is good enough for work. If you create a new distant light in the viewport, you'll notice, first let me scale the icon, maybe a little bit less, something like 10, you'll notice that it doesn't cast shadows. If you would uh, change it to something like a point light, you will notice that point lights, if you increase the exposure, actually cast shadows. So what you can do is create a point light and now you just parent it to, to the distant light and uh, let me, you need to zero out everything on, on the point light and now you can just move it, move it somewhere quite far but not too far otherwise you won't get good results and now uh, if you disable the distant light in the viewport and increase increase the point light brightness you will get a decent approximation of, of the shadows from, from the distant light. So you have to pick a decent, uh, decent distance. You can also turn it off and make it unselectable. So, so you'll get this kind of thing. And also it can help if you go to lights to increase your shadow map size to something larger so you get more details and more resolution. I hope you found this tip useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.